I live here! Welcome back, everybody. In today's video, we have DMA and Karen, who went and made complete fools of themselves at the Sheridan City Council meeting. And of course, they don't even live there. They're just trying to cause problems for somewhere where they don't even live. Anyways, enjoy the video. Hey, everyone. Thanks for coming in. We are here at the city council meeting. I'm a little bit... It starts at 7, so we're early. But I am here to uh, go on the record about them denying me my public records, guys. So that's why we're here. So we're going in, guys. Stay tuned. Yeah. Where's yours? Where's your camera? It's right there. Oh. Now, this is something I've been meaning to talk for a while. Look at DMA setup. It's completely ridiculous. That huge camera is not necessary, and I'll tell you why. Which frauditor has the highest quality footage? I'm not talking about the content, but I'm talking about the image. It's actually Sean from Long Island Audit. All his videos are in 4K, and he only uses a cell phone. So all you need is a cell phone to get the best quality footage. This whole attire over here, it's a prop to bring attention to himself or to look intimidating. Or maybe he thinks that the bigger the camera, the more serious people will take him. Unfortunately, it doesn't work like that and we know you're a clown. All right, guys, so um, if you're just coming in, we are here to at the city council meeting to address um, they not getting any public records or denying me my public records guys so i'm here with big sister and we are here to um go on the record i guess so thanks for coming in guys hi my name is regan and i'm not going to give you my address because it doesn't matter um gee that was that's going to be a hard act to follow and i only get three minutes but I'm not from Sheridan. I don't live in Sheridan, but I pass through Sheridan on a daily basis. I have a lot of business in Sheridan because I do direct street outreach with the homeless and a lot of them are in Sheridan. And what brings me to Sheridan most of the time is the way the police department mistreats them. So I've had some uh, interactions with the police department and <laughs> by interactions with the police department what she actually means is she was arrested multiple times for trespassing having complete karen meltdowns in public and all sorts of other crimes because the arrogance and the lack of accountability continues to fester in that police department it just keeps bringing me back and what I want to talk about tonight is a records request. And I would implore all of you on city council, um, since you are elected to represent the people and you are not in positions of protecting the government, that you please have a discussion with your city manager about your policies on records requests. You've got the police department playing hardball simply because of arrogance over a Criminal Justice Records Act that this gentleman had made many months ago. It's not a complicated request. It's very simple. And you've got a law firm uh, with someone by the name of Bill uh, Hayashi. Mr. Hayashi did answer the records request and said that DMA's signature was illegible. He couldn't read it. Therefore, the request wasn't processed who responded to the request for the first time in almost five months. That's against the law. And in his request, he cited that he essentially was offering up the town and the police department the opportunity to criminalize this individual for making that records requests, that one request. But the problem with Bill is that Bill's an attorney and he's supposed to know the law and what he cited had nothing to do with the records request. He was essentially telling this individual that he was going to cite him through the police department for providing false information. Okay, you got a big problem. And you're going to end up in district court. Don't underestimate the citizenry. We're not stupid. We want to know what's going on in government. We follow Sheridan. We follow your red light camera. We're out there recording, exercising our rights. You guys are generating $42,000 a month 
in red light photo radar tickets. Uh oh, it looks like Karen's about to explode. DMA, get her under control, quick. Would you please start praying for people so they know not to pay those damn tickets? Because what you guys are doing is pure theft. And that's not what Jesus would do. He just would not. So I'm just here to say, please implore your city manager to get with his chief of police and tell them to do their job. Because if they don't, Chief Martinez, we're going to keep coming back. Was that my three-minute timer? Yes. Thank was. you. Thank you for your feedback. Is there anyone else who'd like to speak to council tonight? Right here. Um, before my time starts, uh, is it exactly three minutes? So I know how fast I have to talk? Yes, or three minutes. Exactly, to the T? Okay. We'll wait till you get to the podium and give your name and address then. Okay. <clears throat> now hurry up, DMA. You're already at two minutes and 50 seconds. Say whatever nonsense you have to say and move on with your day. My name is Free American. Uh, for several months, I have been uh, peacefully protesting your radar, speed radar van that's on uh, Federal and also on Quincy. Uh, the first time that I was peacefully protesting on the sidewalk, I was the police were called and I was approached by Sergeant White, who informed me that I was in violation of CRS 18-8-102, obstruction of governmental operations. I explained to him that. The claim and exercise of a constitutional right cannot be converted into a crime. I can stand anywhere on a public sidewalk and peacefully protest. The second and third time that I peacefully protested, I was met with Sergeant Lane, who also told me I was in violation of the law. I explained to him the same thing, and they all let me go. Uh, the last incident that I had, or recording that I had, was on August 17th, and the technician, Deborah Swenson, got out of her van and started taking video footage of me. I immediately went to the city of Sheridan and I did a CCJRA for that footage off of her phone and my public records request was ignored. A month later on September 18th, I emailed city attorney Bill Hayashi and my email was ignored. On September 20th, I came back here, uh, I had a visit with Commander Moscow who is extremely unprofessional, rude and condescending and doxed me on my live stream, kept saying my first and last name which is concerning because I never gave you guys my first and last name. Uh, he told me that Hayashi would be responding. I got ignored. A month later, on October 21st, I sent my second email to Hayashi. I got completely ignored. On November 7th, I came in to make, for my second visit, got Hayashi's phone number, left him a voicemail. Finally, the next day on November 8th, Hayashi responds, claiming that my records request is denied because my signature is not legible. Who is he to determine that my signature is not legible? He also said that I must, I didn't provide ID. I've done several records requests with the city of Sheridan and all across the state of Colorado and never provided ID. Uh, I do not need to provide ID. CRS 24-72-201, 203, and 204 all clearly state all public records shall be open for inspection by any person. Wow, Mr. Fake Lawyer came prepared with all his CRF codes and he's even wearing his best sweater so that people can take him seriously. But everybody can see right through his game, and we know that it's all bullshit. You do not need to provide ID in the state of Colorado to obtain public records. So basically, um, Hayashi, I, I think that, you know, Hayashi already knows my first and last name. On every email, he addresses me by my first and last name. You guys know who I am. I'm sure that a district court judge would be appalled that you guys are requiring ID, especially given the fact that you guys already know who I am. Secondly, I think a district court judge would think that three months is, is not a reasonable amount of time to obtain a picture off somebody's phone, um, but not even the picture. It's been almost three months and I still haven't even, I just got a response. It's been three months. So um, yeah, I shouldn't have to come down here and beg to get a public record in which I'm entitled to. So in conclusion, please follow the law and give me the public records that I'm requesting. Thank you. Yeah. Anyone else who'd like to speak to council tonight? Questions that you want to ask him about fire service? Okay, guys, so we have some more business in there. Regan wants to do some more stuff, but I just wanted to come out. Um, hold on a second. 
I just wanted to come out and thank you guys for, for, for being here. So, I mean, as you can see, I think, I know, I think I was looking at the mayor the whole time. So yes. there, I had um, Regan's, she wanted me to record um, the people so we can get their reaction. And she, I was holding her live stream on her. So if we have to, if we're gonna do a static edited version, we can have both. So that's why I did it that way. I know you guys probably wanted to watch Regan, but, um, but I, I was watching um, the mayor and it seemed as though um, maybe I struck a chord with her, right? So it's unfortunate, like I said, guys, that I had to come down here. It looks like Christopher has been summoned back in. Maybe there's some issue with him filming and doing a big shit show out of this event. Copy of this, a hard copy? Here, I got more. Because you gave me two. Okay, yeah, you gave a couple more? How many more? Yeah, I think that was enough. We, have, we all have one. You all have one. Okay. So this is the update city council on administrative order that was executed last week, uh, effective November 9th. And uh, I think I'll just kind of read through it here and uh, make sure that people understand what that is. Effective immediately in accordance with the authority granted to the city manager pursuant to section 7.3 of the Sheridan Home Rule Charter, this order sets forth reasonable rules and regulations applicable to the use of the entryway, inside lobby, and reception areas, council chambers, conference rooms, or other locations inside City Hall in which a public meeting is not being conducted or other areas of Sh Sheridan City Hall designated as city employee work areas, which are non-public forum. These rules are necessary to ensure the efficient and orderly operation of city council chambers and other administrative offices located inside Sheridan City Hall, safeguard employee safety, maintain emergency access and evacuation routes, and to preserve methods of ingress and egress for the general public to attend city council meetings municipal court proceedings or or other city of Sheridan public meetings occurring inside the city council chambers and to otherwise safely access the rest the public restroom facilities inside Sheridan City Hall and the reception lobby area of Sheridan City Hall as such the following activities are not permitted inside the aforementioned areas within Sheridan City Hall one handing out leaflets flyers or other written publications two hand-to-hand -hand distribution and circulation of petitions to collect signatures. Three, petitioning on behalf of candidates for elected office. Four, public demonstrations, which shall mean a rally, a gathering of picketers or protesters, a speech, a march, or any other similar gathering for the purpose of communication or expression of ideas, views, or grievances. Uh, number five, soliciting funds, donations, or services. Number six, picketing, Number seven, placing, erecting tables, exhibits, chairs, kiosks, and other structures for displaying or storing literature, fundraising activities, petitioning, selling, or offering merchandise, solicitation, or conducting any of the aforementioned activities. And eight, the use of any audio or video recording device without the consent of all persons whose voice or image is being recorded. Consistent with First Amendment protections, the aforementioned activities may be conducted, may be conducted, on public sidewalks adjacent to Sheridan City Hall grounds or outside of Sheridan City Hall, provided that the activity must remain 25 feet from all public entrances to Sheridan City Hall, and those engaged in the activity are not blocking, interfering, or impeding on the rights of others to freely enter and exit the Sheridan City Hall. You see guys, this is exactly what I've been saying. If it weren't for frauditors, they wouldn't need to put this new order that prevents the frauditors from recording in City Hall. 
when there's a meeting. But because all the frauditors are abusing our rights and are pushing the limits, then they need to put more restrictions. What they don't understand is that they are harming their movement. They are actually harming the First Amendment by doing all this crap. And I hope that one day they realize it. And otherwise conduct business within Sheridan City Hall, regardless of distance from the entrances. Further, those engaged in the aforementioned activities outside Sheridan City Hall shall not occupy or block fire or emergency lanes and access, shall not occupy parking spaces, and must stay clear of traffic lanes and vehicular entrances. Any person who fails to comply with this administrative order shall be served with a copy of this administrative order and may be ordered to vacate Sheridan City Hall premises. Refusal to vacate city refusal to vacate Sheridan City Hall premise after being ordered to do so pursuant to, pursuant to this administrative order may constitute a disruption of city business and will be, deemed, will be deemed to no longer be present within Sheridan City Hall on legitimate public business and shall constitute a trespass under the Colorado Revised Statutes in the City of Sheridan Municipal Code issued this ninth day of November 2022. So to councils, uh, uh, what I would say is that I think this document speaks for itself. Uh, we do allow people to uh, attend our public meetings in the uh, conference table here, allow. and they can uh, record <laughs> and uh, interact with us uh, in accordance with the rules that we have for our meetings. Um, but then, outside of the the uh, city council chambers and when a meeting is not taking place then people may not record uh, any person in the building whether they be employee or otherwise and <laughs> unless they have their consent and so uh, this was uh, the result of um, research by our city attorney's office and uh, we uh, wanted to bring this to city council's attention um, that um, this has been in effect um, as of uh, the 9th of November and is at this moment in effect as well. So you folks are welcome to film in here during our meetings. Um, happy to have you for that and appreciate you attending and bearing with us uh, with the uh, rules that we have for our meetings during public meetings like that. But um, after that, I can tell you right now, you don't have my consent to record me outside of this room and outside of the city. I don't need meeting. your consent. How's that? You want to arrest me? Do it. We'll have another opportunity yep. for public comment at the end. Of the I'll be back for yeah, more public we'll comment. We'll definitely be addressing that. That's unconstitutional. Did you, did you swear an oath to the Constitution, mm -hmm. Mr. Granberry? Jeez. Anyone have questions for city manager? Uh, wow. Oh, you anything else to share with us tonight? Uh, no, that pretty well covers it. Let's go. So you'll see right now Karen is acting all tough and everything pretending she's a big bad girl and she's willing to get arrested But you're gonna find out in just a minute that she's not willing to go that far Real quick Okay guys, so you can see they're retaliating against us uh, they they don't want us in here. They don't want to be transparent. They just made a bogus unconstitutional rule. He said it was a rule that we can't record in this area without people's consent. And he said he was allowing us to record. They allow us to record. They don't allow us shit. Okay, they're not allowing me to do a damn thing. And we will be challenging this. And if they want to throw the handcuffs on us, we will have that dismissed and we will sue the city of Sheridan. And we will sue the arresting officer personally as well. That is ridiculous. They're trying to veil us. This is the absolute tyranny, guys. Trying to say it's a rule. I don't need permission to exercise my rights. That's what makes it a right. So we will definitely, I promise you guys, be challenging this. They're not gonna tell me that I can't, as a taxpayer, come in to this public area right here, guys. This is the area where I'm at right now, in this public area. I can't record in here because it's a rule now. It's a rule. So we will be challenging that, big sister and I, I promise you. And uh, uh, I, I hope they arrest us. I hope they arrest us. Uh, that is absolutely ridiculous, guys. This is the most tyrannical bullshit I've ever heard in my entire life. You heard it in there. But they're going to give us uh, another three minutes at the end to discuss uh, what the, that city attorney, or not city attorney, the uh, city manager just said, which is ridiculous. Twyla, thank you for the 50s, sweetie. I appreciate you. Thank you. 
So guys, this is, I'm just beside myself. They're, they have so much disdain for me because I'm trying to come in here and get to do a public records request or because I'm peacefully protesting on a sidewalk, their speed trap van, right? That they're gonna now make rules that I can't record in here. They can take those rules and they can shove them where you, where you know. That's ridiculous. Let's go back in here, I don't wanna miss anything. Yeah, he's talking like a big tough guy right now, but trust me, he's not gonna do shit. He hasn't sued anybody. He has never filed any lawsuit, never won any lawsuit. If he had, trust me, we would have never heard the end of it. So let me get big sis, because we're gonna have to go back in here so we can be heard on the record in response. Hey, should we go back in there? Because I don't want to miss the, our chance to respond. Well, we don't get to go until here. So they're going to go through this stuff. I'm telling everybody, because you can sign up online to provide public comment. So there's the WebEx. So that's what he's sitting up there doing, mm -hmm. is waiting for people that are signing up uh, online. So you guys go to WebEx for... Okay, so... I think Ellie has that link in my chat. Ellie, could you hop in uh, Thank you for the DMAs? 20, um, see that yeah, place. here, Ellie's got, she's on it. Uh, John Minshew, thank you. Get that bail money coming in right on, bro. So we still have some time before the end of the meeting? Yeah, we still have time before okay. the end of the This guy literally, this old dude just created this administrative order because they can't do their job. So the cameras end up in City Hall and he thinks that we don't have a right to record them. Mm -hmm. oh, he where said he we've was always allowing. recorded them, right here. Yeah. He said, I'm, I, uh, we allow you. He's not allowing us to allow. do shit. I love you don't the allow, allow me nothing. Yeah, bro. I love the word allow. This jack wagon just work. created this ordinance. Or this, this administrative order effective on the 9th. Yeah, effective on the 9th. It's already in effect right now. <laughs> Go ahead. Uh, I hope they arrest me for recording in here. <laughs> Uh, I will, we will have that dismissed with the quickness, and I will, that will be Holy another lawsuit. Shit. Who do these people think they are? Yeah, who do you they're, think they are? That's a rule. Out of their There's, that's not a law. There's, that's, that's no these, law. That's the 75 and older crowd. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, they're recording. Uh, that's a great point. Someone said they're recording. Holy shit. Why do they get to record me without my consent? <laughs> I didn't know city manager. Salty. Into Thanks for the 1999, bro. <laughs> this is. <laughs> F that noise, trip. freedom of press, that's right. This is a trip. Okay. This is ridiculous. I gotta, I gotta take a break here. I gotta get a drink. How long do you think we have till the, the meeting ends? I don't know, just pop in there and see where they're yeah, at I'm, on the We're agenda. gonna go in here, guys, because I do not want to miss it, here, an opportunity here, to... Yeah, I do not want to miss my opportunity to... Uh, oh, they closed the door because we're being too loud. Do you know how long this goes, usually? Okay. They shut the door because I think we're being too loud. Mm, whatever. <laughs> and then they're going to try to bust us for disruption of public assembly or some bullshit. But yeah. the, the problem is they're making up the rules as they go along. So they don't even have any rules. Oh, yeah. We, uh, Regan already told them. She said, arrest me. That's the chief of police. I just want to make sure that we're... Yeah, I'll read the paper. <sighs> they want me to read the paper to them. Okay, yeah. <laughs> I mean, you guys heard. Um, it's, a, it's because it's not a public forum, guys. Public forum only means that you can't protest. Like, I couldn't bring a sign in here and start protesting, right? That's true. Like, I can't come in this area with a sign. Once again, Professor Christopher is pewing his incorrect interpretation of the law. He doesn't know shit, and he's causing a lot of harm by spreading his fake understanding of the law to all these idiots that watch his stuff. Saying the speed trap is extortion, right? But that's all a limited public forum is. You can't limit the, the freedom. They can limit my my free press by their hours of operation in which they're open right um, or if they're having like some type of specific like event in here or something like that that i'm it's invite only then i couldn't come in and record but that's it and you could technically wear a sign that says that 
Yeah. You could wear a shirt that says that. You could do that. Can you come so, in here and rally? No. I'm not going to read the whole paper, guys. It's a long thing, but um, you heard what he said. Basically, basically, what this says is what the city manager in there just said. Do you see what I'm saying? The city of Sheridan, I think, is worse than Lakeside. Well, yeah, they want to double down now. Look at them. They're doubling down. Oh, Lakeside's, down. Lakeside's bad. I, I didn't. I didn't expect this. I didn't think these people were that stupid, but they are. Okay, guys, so, so we're gonna. I'm gonna see if they're gonna arrest us today or what's Because we're gonna. I'm gonna come back here. I'll come back here with with Regan. That's I can't just, get arrested, so you need to come with people that can get arrested with you. Yeah, she can't get arrested anymore. She's already been arrested too many I'm times. I'm maxed out on my arrest. Maxed out on rest for a 12 month period. I'm gonna go back in here, guys, because I don't. I want to make sure that I don't miss my uh, chance. So uh, Armac's in there. Armac is the guy who's with me with Terry DeGilio. He's gonna come get us when they're getting close because we have the agenda. So this is where we're at, guys. We are at right here. So we still have this and then this and then this. And then at the end, we're gonna get to talk and address um, what the city manager just said. All right, I'm gonna fast forward the next 20 minutes because it's just babbling and cackling from both of them. And honestly, I don't think you guys wanna to listen to that. Okay, guys. Well. Okay, this is awesome. We get round two. Um, uh, Mr. Granberry, I, we've never even seen you. What do we, where did you come from with this administrative, are you an administrative court judge? You think you're dealing with a bunch of stupid people, don't you? Guess what? I see that you guys are going into executive session to do his evaluation. I'm going to tell you all right now, you better fire him while you're ahead. Because actually, you're going to need all of that revenue from the red light camera to settle these civil rights lawsuits that you're going to get. I mean, this guy is out of his mind. And if that attorney gave him that advice, you also need to fire him and ask for a refund. And so when you go in for your evaluation tonight, I hope you get fired because we're coming back. You know that, right? And if you just do your damn job, we wouldn't even be here. Do you get that? We have the right to record our government on duty, whether you like it or not. So we're coming back. You get that, right? And we don't need anybody's permission. So you better get with your buddy right there because you're going to have to arrest a whole bunch of people that don't leave. You get that? Better yet, just make sure your staff's doing their damn job and we won't even be here. Wow, it really sounds like she's threatening the city council right now. That's crazy. Karen needs to take her meds or stop taking her meds or whatever she needs to do. She needs to get better because she is off her rockers. You know why we're here, right? Because your staff's not doing their job. You hear that? They're not doing their job. And I'm so glad that all of you realize that you are elected to represent the people and not the government. Administrative order? <laughs> Whatever. That's, that's how you lose respect. Don't you, do you not get that? That's how you lose respect and bring more people that know you're up to no good. You want to hide. Why do you want to hide? What are you hiding from? Aren't you transparent? Answer the damn records request, Martinez, and it, we wouldn't even be here. Don't you get that? Talk to me. Come on, Granberry, talk to me. Administrative order speaks for itself. Tell us why you think you can do it. Tell us what authority you have to enforce it. Administrative, Tell us how much money does this order speaks for itself. How much money does this city have to settle civil rights lawsuits? Not much, huh? You ready for that? Because that's what's going to happen. You guys ready for that? Granberry, you need to be fired tonight. I'm telling you, fire him while you are ahead and while the city still has money. Because this dude is going to bankrupt this little town. I'm telling you. Y'all love your festivals and all that fun stuff? You better fire this dude. Thank you for your time. Yep. 
Time's up, Karen. Now it's time for Karen number two. Mr. Granberry, did you start out with the Constitution? I'll just remind everyone you don't have to respond to people who are don't doing respond. public comment. Well, you did, right? Uh, Mr. Martinez, if I were to come back here, because I'm going to, and I'm recording this public area right here, uh, well, it, are you going to arrest me for that? No comment. Yeah, because there, in order to arrest me, you, I, you, I have to have broken the law. So this this administrative order is not a law; it's a rule. Anyone can put any rule. No red shirts, right? I don't have to abide by that. And Mr. Uh, City Manager, you said that we allow you to record. You don't allow me to do anything, sir. I have the right to record. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you need to understand that you. You work for me, sir. Amen. Okay? You don't allow me nothing. Okay? I have natural rights. The Constitution protects my natural rights. First Amendment, you know, freedom of the press, pesky little thing. The thing that you swore an oath to protect, right? So, Mr. Martinez, Mr. City Manager, it doesn't give you guys very much credibility when you swear an oath to uphold the United States Constitution, and then you're over here with this administrative order trying to violate our rights as free American citizens, right? Government is the epitome of do as I say, not as I do, right? So I'm just wondering what would be the crime, because I know Mr. Martinez, is, he doesn't want to talk to me, but we're going to come back. Uh, I'm, going to, I'm going to probably bring as many people, because a lot of people are going to want to get in on this. Yeah. Uh, we're going to come back in a group, and we're going to come in here and record. And this administrative order is not a law. So we will be back. If you decide, if Mr. Martinez or whoever arrests us, I already have an attorney on, on retainer. We will have that dismissed very easily. I don't even need to hire an attorney. I could probably do this uh, by myself, pro se. And then we will sue the city of Sheridan. And whoever puts the handcuffs on me, I will sue them, him too, personally. There's no mm -hmm. qualified immunity in Colorado. And it wouldn't matter anyways, because once you violate somebody's rights, you don't get qualified immunity. So, like my sister said, I hope that you think real long and hard. And, and you do, this Hayashi guy, what kind of credibility does he have to draft up this uh, administrative order? He's obviously not a constitutional attorney. He, he needs to be fired. He doesn't, I don't think he knows what he's doing. I know he doesn't know what he's doing. I do this for a living. I know my rights. If you guys would just honor, just follow the law and give me the records that I'm requesting, we wouldn't even be here. No. You guys are perpetuating this. It's a disgrace. You guys need to do better. Is there anyone else you'd like to speak to counsel tonight? All right, I think we heard enough of these two beta Karens for a while. There's a little bit more to cover, but we'll cover it in another video. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. They really tried to threaten the city council, but it didn't work. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next one. By the way, if you're interested in getting some awesome official Frauditor Troll merch, check out FraudidorTroll.com. The link is in the description. Frauditor Troll. I live here!